Hello again, everyone. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the JD-08 and we're gonna experiment with velocity. More specifically, how can we use a steps velocity to modulate one of the various parameters or various functions of the JD-08? So I'll explain that here now. Okay. So right now, what I want to do is I'm going to go to an initial patch. Mm, actually, I could just do it this way. Let's see where this is off. All right, so I'm going to cycle over to D, page D, bank A, and mm, 85. Sure, let's take a look. No. Okay, all right, so here we are. We have an initial patch running for us. Nothing special, nothing new underneath the sun, right? Okay, so the goal here is to take the, hmm. so the goal here is to, number one, initiate the sequencer. I'm going to dial down the tempo. All right, so now what I want to do, oh, another thing I want to do is, Remember, in order to access your sequencer pattern menu, what you want to do is you want to hold start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an initialized. There we are. I'm going to go to an initialized um, pattern. Okay. One other thing I did want to note is that <laughs> whenever you do it that way in that order, your patch is automatically set to a1 as the default so a healthy practice would be to select your pattern first and then select your patch otherwise it reinitializes itself so do the exact same thing that i just did only in the reverse order select your sequencer uh, select your sequencer pattern first and then select your patch so now I'll just go back to the initial patch that I was using. Let's see here. Mm, I think that was it. Nope. Okay, good. All right, here we go. All right, so we have an initial. We have, an, uh, we have an initialized patched along with an initialized pattern. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take select steps and I'm going to alter the velocity of each step. Um, basically, um, well, because of, the <laughs> because of the way the JD-08 is set up, um, there are no velocity triggers. You can't really, unless of course you have an external MIDI keyboard connected, there's no way of deciphering how hard you tap the key because everything is preset. So <laughs> what you would have to do, and this is kind of ridiculous in a sense, what you would have to do is you would have to hold your step, press note, and this value knob, well, you can use it to select your steps, but what you can also do is double tap the step, there we are, and you can alter the velocity. Now, I you can alter the velocity and the gate, now that I think about it, but the problem is, is that because I don't have a note on that particular step, it doesn't work. So, let's insert a note. Um, hmm, what key do we want? Okay, so let's go here, hold down the step, press note, and, um, hmm, Let's just use a D, okay? And then step number five, I'll insert F sharp. Uh, step number nine, mm, E. And then step number, I guess, 13. Yeah, step number 13, uh, I'll insert an A. So now, Now we have a pattern. So the way I did that was I just press start. I'm going to exit note mode so that way you can see each of the steps. Okay, now 
another thing that you can do that's kind of interesting with the JD08 is you can tie your notes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If I press and hold step one, what I can do is, ah, sorry, if I press and hold step one, what I can do is I can press this page tie button over to the far right. And what it does is it extends the note length of that particular step. So now, same thing can be done here. Five, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, thirteen, one, two, three. So now I have like these long sustained notes, right? Now, another thing that you can do is you can actually remove steps in between and just kind of create a more rhythmic arrangement. Okay, all right, so that's a little trick that I use to just kind of speed the process along. Now let's go back to what I was mentioning before regarding the velocity. If I hold a step down and I tap my value knob twice, we get our velocity parameter. If I turn my dial, I'm sorry, if I press the if I press the dial again, that's where I get my gate. Now in this instance, the gates have been tied, hence gate tie. Now, oh, and I can all if I I'm sorry, <laughs> if I dial back, I can change the length of the independent step. So now, as opposed to having these two notes tied to one another, they. One is slightly shorter than the other, which is actually kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just dial it back to tie for now. Okay, so now let's do this again. Let's change the velocity here. I'm going to up the velocity to 127. I'll take the velocity of this step and dial it down to mm, 60, 127. 30, 40, yeah. Uh huh. Here we go. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. All right. So it's kind of erratic, right? But um, I'm doing this with purpose. Okay. So. Not much of a difference there, right? Just it's the same sequence and what have you. Well, this is where this is where it gets a little interesting because the JD08 has a really cool modulation feature. Vol velocity can be used to modulate other parameters. So let's take a look at that, shall we? All right. In order to accomplish that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the sequencer mode by holding common and press FX. Now we're going to go into the menu mode. I'm going to scroll down to envelope. Okay. The envelope section, which I described in one of my previous videos, has uh, multiple purposes. The envelope can be used to modulate pitch, filter, and the VCA or uh, TVA time variant amplifier, uh, time variant filter, pitch, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Well, another cool thing about this is is that if I enter the envelope mode, notice what happens is you get a sub menu that is specifically geared toward velocity. 
So I have pitch velocity and then I have pitch velocity timing, which is pretty much the, the depth of the effect or how long it takes for the um, effect to take place. I'd like to think of it as more of a depth parameter than anything. Then we have our filter velocity. And then of course the respective time parameter amp velocity and its respective time parameter okay so let's go over to filter velocity for just a quick second right all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dial the effectiveness all the way up to 50 and i want this effect to be extremely prominent so I'm going to press the exit button, scroll over to the timing, dial that up to 50 as well. Okay, nothing new there. But what we're going to do is we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the TVF section of the JD-08. And we're going to start messing around with a few of these parameters, namely the cutoff, the resonance, and the envelope. So the envelope is, I'm sorry, the envelope dial is bipolar. So we have negative effectiveness, positive effectiveness, or negative depth, positive depth. So what's happening right now is that only the steps where in which the velocity was maximized will come through, uh, or you, you'll only be you'll only be able to hear <laughs> the steps where in which the velocity was maximized. So I'm going to go back into the sequencer mode, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So you see, the filter only opens when the velocity deems it necessary, I guess you would say. The velocity is, uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best to explain this, the velocity is determining how quickly the filter opens. The velocity is also responsible for shutting the filter. So let's have a little bit of fun with this, shall we? All right, so now let's go to our filter envelope mode. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to lower all of our faders. Just going to initialize those. All right. Let's see. Mike. Let's see. So what this does is it adds a little bit of variety to your sequence or your patch. All right, let's change our waveform because that's being a little monotonous, right?
Now, just as we use the velocity to modulate the filter, we can also use the velocity to modulate the pitch as well. And this is where things get a little, a little, a little crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. resonance down. <laughs> and so again, what's happening right now is the pitch is well again the button <laughs> the velocity is deciphering the effectiveness of the envelope and the envelope is modulating the pitch and the filter and so again it's another trick that I use to add a little bit of variety to the sound because again you know writing writing patterns using the JD-08 sequencer can be mm, a little a little monotonous you know it gets a little repetitive over time I mean it's a sequencer right so that's the idea behind it it's supposed to be repetitive it's a repetitive melody repetitive harmony and what have you but it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of randomness to this right <clears throat> And that's it. There we have it. Okay, guys. So, again, um, another little trick that I use um, using velocity as a modulator. So, or, or, or should I say using velocity to trigger a modulator? Modulation, modulating modulators. <laughs> but hopefully that was helpful. Um, and as always, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Until then, I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.